everyone and welcome back to Science Explorers. As a part of Women's History Month, today we're going to be talking about inventor and actress Heidi Lamar. Heidi Lamar, born Hedwig Eva Maria Keisler, was born November 9, 1914 and passed away January 19, 2000. Lamar was born in Austria and went on to become an actress and inventor, now known as the mother of Wi-Fi. In 1938, Lamar left Austria and the Austrian film scene to pursue an acting career in the U.S. She starred in numerous American films and eventually became a well-known film star, appearing in over 20 movies. But Lamar wasn't just an actress. While she was working in Hollywood, Lamar was also developing her own inventions. She herself described her work as part of her tinkering hobbies. Lamar was a self-taught inventor working to design things like a fluorescent dog collar and making improvements on pre-existing inventions such as the Concord airliner and stoplights. Most notably, during World War II, Lamar worked with George Antiel to design a device that would create a frequency hopping signal for radio control torpedoes that couldn't be intercepted. While she and Antiel patented this frequency hopping system, neither of them received compensation for the Navy's later use of it after the design had been initially rejected. This frequency hopping system created the foundation for the invention of wireless connections, like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. For her work, Lamar was the first woman to receive the Invention Convention's Bulby Nass Spirit of Achievement Award in 1997. She and Antiel were also posthumously inducted into the National Inventor Inventors Hall of Fame in 2014. Frequency hopping transmits radio signals by quickly changing the carrier frequency to avoid others jamming that frequency. As a way to explore communication, we're going to make a string telephone. To make this, you will need two cups, string, a push pin, and paper clips. Use the push pins to poke a hole in the bottom of the cups and then cut the string to your desired length and thread it through both holes. To keep the string from falling out, tie the end of the string to a paper clip on the inside of the cup. Now, to use your string telephone, you and a friend will need to walk far enough away that that thread is tight. Now, you and your friend can talk like you're using walkie-talkies. But how does this work? When you speak into the cup, your voice sends sound waves into it that makes vibrations. Those vibrations travel from the cup down the string to the other cup, which transfers the sound of your voice. Make sure your friend on the other side is pressing the cup to their ear so that they can hear. Now with Lamar's frequency hopping, when others would try to interrupt this signal, uh, frequency would change too quickly for them to be able to interrupt the signal. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me to talk about awesome women in history. And thank you so much to National Grid for sponsoring this video. You can join us every Tuesday at 1030 for Storytime and every Thursday at 1030 for Science Explorers. Have a great day.